Hey everyone, hope you all are well. The first thing I'm starting off with as usual is with an eyeshadow primer. I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm adding a few swipes of this across the eye area and then I'm taking a wet and wild P15 brush to blend this into the skin and the primer will just help the shadows to go on nice and smoothly, blend nice and easily and last all day long too. And you could add an extra step here and use a base perhaps a white eyeshadow base being that we're working with color today it'll help those shadows really pop so i'm using this palette here from the color pop animal crossing collection that came out a while ago now a couple of years ago i got suckered into it um into animal crossing right at the beginning of covid i picked it up for the switch and had an absolute whale of a time so naturally when this collection came out i had to nab it so the first shade I'm taking then is called Taylor's Ticket. It's a beautiful light lavender shade with a semi-matte finish to it. You have these beautiful little flecks running throughout the shadow, which I think make it look absolutely magical on the eyes. So I'm just using the double-ended brush that came with the Urban Decay Naked Ultraviolet palette, the tapered fluffy end now, to run this colour into the crease. And despite it having that shimmer running through it, you don't have an issue with fallout, which is great. And you can really see as well what I mean by semi-matte. Those little flecks aren't too apparent on the eyes, um, definitely not from here. You can see that it nearly looks almost like a matte shadow but anyway i'm adding this in a couple of layers just building up the intensity and then once i'm happy enough with how that looks i'm then switching that brush around and i'm using the small bullet shaped end just to pick up a bit more of that shadow and i'm going to dust this all the way down along the lower lash line from outer to inner corner the next shade I'm taking then is called Serene Sable. It's a warm toned purple with a matte finish to it. It's a little bit powdery in the pan and it's quite pigmented. You'll have a nice opaque finish if you are patting this onto the eye area, but you can shear it out too for a light wash of color. Um, as you know, I build up my shadows in layers, so this is just what I'm going to be doing. Um, Getting that colour on there first is the most important thing, placing it where I want it and then blending it out um, up to and into the crease, blending back and forth, moving the shadow around where I want it. You know, I can always go back in and repeat this process to intensify the shade. Um, I just always like to focus on getting the colour onto the eyes first. Um, I can finesse it later on. But I am padding another layer of this purple now all over the lid and then I'm blending back and forward in the crease. And I do find purples can take that extra bit of work so I am taking my time with it. Um, if I notice any patches or skipping I'll just reapply and I'll just really take my time to rectify that. So what I'm going to do then is flip the brush around again and use that bullet shaped end just to apply the shadow down along the lower lash line, sweeping it back and forward, making sure that it connects up on that outer edge. And with a shade like purple or pinks or reds, I know some people find these tones can make their eyes look a bit irritated. So the trick I find there is just to break it up slightly by adding another color right at the lash line. So for instance, now I'm gonna go in with this black eyeshadow. It's from Penny's. Uh, any black will do. It's just a matte black and I've picked it up on a C-shaped brush from Sedona Lace. I'm running this shadow into the lash bed on the upper eye area. It just, it helps to give dimension. It helps to conceal the band of lashes that I'll be applying. And then it breaks up the purple away from the whites of the eyes. So it prevents them from looking sore or, you know, potentially irritated. Same way now for the waterline, I'm taking this pencil from NARS. I'm adding it to the waterline to add some brightness just to help open up the eyes, make them appear that bit bigger and brighter. And then again, you've got that break between the whites of the eyes and the purple underneath the lash line. So I've added some false lashes now. These are the Eyelore Smoky Eyelash, uh, number 21. And then I'm using the L'Oreal False Lash Bambi Mascara just to blend my own lashes in with the false ones and to also coat the lower lashes as well. And then that's it. So a really quick and easy purple smoky eye, perfect for spring. And I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, let me know and I'll catch you all really soon.